it's old guardian here. In this how to play video, I'm going to take a look at Megatoon Warrior. Megatoon Warrior is a fun combo deck and it still works extremely well in the post nerfs Rise of Shadows meta. The Megatoon Warrior combo that I like and that according to statistics should be clearly the best combo is the Maligos combo. And the Maligos combo means that first you have to draw your entire deck, because Megatoon, Death Rattle, if you have no cards in your deck, hand and battlefield destroy the enemy hero. So once your deck is empty, you need to have Megatoon, Boomship, Maligos, two copies of Inner Rage, and Whirlwind in your hand. So you need to have six cards. And optionally, you can also have one other minion that has up to six health. Any minion in this deck will do, except for Ziliax, because Ziliax has Divine Shield. And unless there are some minions on the board that Ziliax can run into to get rid of that Divine Shield, then you can't get rid of Ziliax. And the combo is, you play Boomship, it pulls Maligos, it pulls Megatoon, you inner rage your Megatoon, you inner rage your Maligos, and then you play Whirlwind, and boom, all of them will die. And the game. In building this post nerfs version of the deck, I started from my pre nerf version of the deck, and then I needed to make a number of changes to that in order to accommodate the current meta game. One of the most significant ones that I really never thought I would do is that I'm running two brawls in this. I generally dislike running Brawl in Megatoon Warrior, because Brawl can only be played when there are at least two minions on the board, and you have to be able to play your Brawl before you can play your Megatoon combo. But right now, the meta is so minion heavy, that I felt two Brawl is actually very, very good right now. Even if you have hard time getting rid of Brawls, Warrior does have a way to get rid of them, even if the opponent is not cooperating. Because Dr. Boom Mad Genius, there is one of the hero powers is to create three 1-1 one -one tokens. So then you can hero power and then you can brawl. But if your opponent is really not playing minions, and you have two brawls that you need to get rid of, that's going to take a lot of turns. Luckily, the current meta is so minion heavy that getting rid of brawls is not an issue, and having two brawls gives this deck just a lot more removal, so it's able to challenge those board heavy decks. Incidentally, this also gives this an answer to something like an Omi Priest, because two brawls and then Maligos plus Whirlwind is one board clear more from against Nomi board. So you can clear three Nomi boards with this deck, should you ever be in a position to do that, but Nomi is not seeing a lot of play right now. Other than that, there's also another thing that I really have not liked in general, and that is that I'm running two Town Criers, even though I have only three Rush Minions in the deck, two Militia Commanders and Ziliax. I simply could not afford to put a fourth Rush Minion into Megatoon Warrior, the combo takes some space, so I, I just couldn't do it. But I needed the Town Criers for the early game. So now I'm often in positions where the second Town Cryer is unable to draw a card, but that's just something that I need to accept in order to accommodate the current meta game, and still be running the Megatoon combo package. One nice thing about this Megatoon combo list is that it's always ready for weapons coming back to the meta, like now we're seeing rogues running some waggle picks again. But when you're Megatoon, you want to draw cards a lot, so you run the weapons project Harrison Jones package anyway just for card draw, so you also get some weapon removal there on the side. Another tech card that I have chosen to include in this build is the Super Collider. It's great against Mage, it's also great against all sorts of board flooding decks, Zulox, Token Druids. You can often do things with Super Collider and then Dino Medic or something to clean up boards so that you don't always have to use your Warpaths and your Brawls. And the final breakthrough when I built this deck was the inclusion of Omega Devastator. I originally didn't run Omega Devastators in Megatoon Warrior because, well, I just tried to draw through my deck and get to my combo. But at the moment, ability to deal 10 damage to a minion on turn 10 for 4 mana as well. And you're probably in Dr. Boom form as well, so then it's also rushing 4-5. That has been very useful. Overall a fun deck to play, pretty close to Control Warrior in its ability to remove threats. Not quite as good, but pretty close. And then of course, there's the game winning combo at the end. So when you play this deck, you just draw a lot of cards, you answer the opponent's threats and you prepare to do your full combo. Of course, sometimes it doesn't quite work that way, you don't always get to do the full combo. 
Sometimes you have to use like Malika's whirlwind to clear a board, and against something like a Nomi Priest, that it's actually part of your main win condition there. Sometimes you need to drop an inner rage on something. Sometimes I have inner rage like a Ziliax that I play, make it a 5 2 without Divine Shield, of course, and then trade, heal up for 5. And all sorts of things that you're forced to do in some cases. But because Boomship gives the minions rush, that means that there are often ways to make the combo work even if you don't have all the pieces. Like, you can just boomship a mecha tune if you have the inner rages left, if the opponent has a 6 attack minion on the board, you can double inner rage that, and then you can rush your mecha tune into that one to kill it off. Just ample, there are many, many ways to activate the combo. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're looking for card draw, and you're looking for appropriate removal pieces. So you always hold on to a town crier, you always hold on to an acolyte of pain. Then depending on the matchup you may need warpaths, brawls, dynomedics. And just keep clearing stuff, keep drawing cards, get to your combo, win the game. If you enjoy this content then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. And now, let's go take a look at Mechatoon Warrior in action. So that's what we went for. I think I'm actually keeping this hand, because this could be a Bomb Warrior. And then I want to get rid of the Wrench Caliber. And I have an Acolyte of Pain to draw some cards. And I like drawing cards. The cards are fun. So fun. So let's go. If it's Control Warrior, well, then... Heckle, but Unseen Saboteur, probably Unseen Saboteur, is the only real way for him to win. And Heckelbots can sometimes do it, but for the most part it cannot. But let's see about this one. He wasn't coining an Elec out, I like that. Hmm. Six cards in hand. So even if he were to go in, but he could just play like a militia commander out there. Very little I can do about that. I could play a weapons project now just to get rid of one. But he could answer with a Harrison. I think I I think I need to just armor up, because at the moment I'm still not able to be milled, even if he deals damage at one damage increments. And that's not very powerful. But I like that. Of course, he might be able to simply brawl the board. But I think I need to take that chance. Go with this. And go with this. Kill off the Devastator. Hit him in the face. Hope for no brawl. No brawl arena, please. Why would you even... Brawling a board that is this small is of course a little bit... You don't really want to do it. Especially if he doesn't know for sure yet whether I am combo deck or not. But he's bombs. Mm hmm. Holy Guaga Bombarino. So it's time for me to take away that bomb generating weapon. I don't want him to be generating bombs. Seven cards in hand. Next turn I go to eight cards in hand. I can still Harrison this one next turn. Eight cards in hand, it will draw two. That's acceptable. We go for that. And then I have one more weapons project to remove the second range caliber. If it comes to that. He's going to go all boom! Wow! Scary stuff. Oh, I don't mind the armor too much. Eight cards in hand. That belongs in, that belongs in a museum. Wee. And then I just... I think I just punch him in the face. Nine cards in hand. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. I can do nine cards in hand. I'm fine with that. Now all the mechs have rush. And obviously there's warpads and stuff. The Here comes Me Mecarino number one. But I'm fine with that. Ten cards in hand. Go down to nine. Go down to 
8 because there's no more rush minions to draw. Go down to 7 and I can still be milled. But I still have Mega Toon, Maligos, and Inner Rage, so I cannot afford to be milled. Which kind of forces my hand when it comes to this, so I can only get rid of these two cards. I don't want to play the weapons project yet, no. I do not. Playing weapons project now would mean that I can't remove the next French caliber. And there will be a next French caliber. There's always a next French caliber. Alright. Well, now I picked up Mega Tomb, but ouch. Other than that. Hmm, not too great. I kind of do want to play cards on this board. On the other hand, maybe not so much. He might not have any weapon removal in that deck. So I actually could probably just use a Super Collider here. I would push that one down to 2 health if I want to. Now let's do that. Just Super Collider a little bit over there. Just need to keep getting rid of cards so that I could get to a position where I could play the Acolyte. And next turn I will be at 10 mana so Devastator will be active. I can do Devastator things to get rid of cards. And this at 2 helped me is that I can still super collide that into something. He does not want to do things. Now if I play Acolyte and Dino Medic board will be cleared and I will draw three cards. I will have to have a two mana card to use, because that costs eight. And I will go down to seven cards and I will draw three. So I will go up to ten. I mean, I could use a weapons project. Is there ever going to be any better, better time for me to do that? I would need Warpath, Shield, Slam, it's four. I think I just need to do this. I just need to. I have to use the Weapons Project if I can't draw a one or two mana card. And I couldn't. So that is of course a little bit awkward. Because now I can't remove the next range caliber. But I wagered that I wanted to draw cards now. Maybe that wager was incorrect. Because now if he has a wrench caliber, that's a really big deal. This is also a pretty big deal. Not quite as big of a deal, but a big deal anyway. So that's four bombs. But I can take four bombs. Four bombs is fine. My mechs don't have Rush. Do I want to use Ziliax yet? I probably don't. Do I want to use a Brawl? I guess I could throw away one of the Brawls here. I have two Brawls that I need to use. I have only nine real cards left in my deck. There are five bombs. But on the other hand, I haven't found another Warpath or another Brawl. That's a bit of a problem. I guess I can't use a Brawl yet. Need to wait. Need to wait one moment more. I need to devastate the air leg, of course. I think I need to wait a little while longer here. Just a, just a little bit more. Four bombs in the deck. But I'm at 50. Well, playing some Megatoon Warrior. Because Megatoon is fun. So fun. Right, well, I can still kill that. It's getting rid of some of my armor, so shields let me the better option than the Devastator. On the other hand, I might just drop the Brawl here. 11 cards left, 7 real cards left. Nothing that I have in hand draws any cards. Nothing that I have in the deck. Well, Shield Book is the only card in the deck that still draws cards. So I probably need to be a little bit conservative here. Not just shield block 
this turn. Not go with the brawl yet. And a couple of hits over there. Nine cards in hand. Alright. At 45, there's 20 damage in my deck. Alright. Some reasonably big stuff. Pushing, pushing. Well, there's a Warpath, but Warpath can be used much more easily than a Brawl. And it's unlikely that you'll have a lot of really big minions coming. So I think this is a Brawl turn. I want to get rid of this Brawl here. Two, five wins. That's okay. I can let a 2-5 win. That's cool. We'll wait. 2-5, that's not a mech, so he can't magnetize stuff onto that. What? Two of these. That's crazy. That is crazy, I tell you. Crazy stuff. Two big ones. Two random boom reavers. What? Oh boy, oh boy. And I probably need to kill that. If I use Ciliax, I can't heal. I can do I can do triple war path. Not the Ciliax yet. There's five real cards in the deck. And it has to be the Devastator here. Maybe it even has to be the Ciliax too. Let's go with that. Kill off the mech. I'll do this. I mean, he has to kill this one anyway. Now this just means that I won't be able to heal later on. Which is a bit of a downside. But other than that, getting the kill is good. Second Omega Assembly. He has his share of mechs. And that's drawing potentially at Ciliax. Hmm. That would be awkward. So if he doesn't magnetize, do I just need to warpath this board down? Or can I afford to play a boom? I don't need to use five times warpath, but if he can magnetize a mech... Let's mean you have a random one in your hand. That's probably still fine. I think this is an opportunity for me to play the boom. Seven damage coming, seventeen damage coming. There could be a 4-bomb shuffle. I think I need to go with the boom. Let's see what boom hero power I can pick up. Deal 3 damage. That means that I can take down this mech. That's the big mech. I don't want him to magnetize stuff on that mech. I'm fine with this one switching so something. Like, yeah, now you pull the Otsiliax to the board without magnetizing it on anything. I'm completely fine with that. <laughs> oh no, double bombs. Just double bombs. Alright. Double bombs is cool. And I even have good hero power here. So I can do 4 times warpath, 1 times warpath, 2 times warpath, Three times warpath. Four times warpath. Seven cards in deck. There are only three real cards in the deck. So I hit there. And I hero power. Okay. 20 damage coming from the bombs. He can no longer do a double shuffle. Both LX have been spent. So the bombs he has he has two bombs left probably with the calibers, unless he is able to discover more than one goblin. Okay, these are okay. I don't mind these. I just want to brawl. Drawing some bombs. Don't mind that either. Well, I do mind a little bit. Taking damage hurts. Drawing three bombs. Mm, cool. Three bombs and a dynamic. There are two real cards left in the deck. But I won't be able to... 
Unless I get the brawl now. Well, I have to use this at some point anyway. So let's use this now. I do get the brawl. Oh boy. Because that means that I could brawl this turn. I still need to warp at next turn. I will have to warp at next turn regardless. Shield slam there. And then I'll brawl this. Next turn, I i mean, I don't have to play the Dino Medic. The Dino Medic can stay. Because I get three minions from Boom Ship. All I need to do is I need to spend the Warpath. And I can spend the Dino Medic. And I can spend the Dino Medic to kill off the Delisiana. This is going to be a win. I'm going to actually win this. I don't think he can deal 24 damage in time. He doesn't have any LX left. Okay. And now I'm going to... So I could do double warpath dynomedic. Yeah, double warpath dynomedic is good. Warpath once. Warpath twice. Then the dynomedic, which is going to kill off the Delisiana. And then it's also going to kill that rover. And now I'm going to take one fatigue next turn. So he needs four, three bombs to the deck. And three bombs means that he needs to have two randomly generated goblins and a wrench caliber. And it looks like he did not have that. Well, in that case, I suppose this game is going to be over. Boom ship time. Yay! Inner Rage. Inner Rage. Whirlwind. Phew. Bone Warrior is... It's a little bit scary, because I want to draw my entire deck. And they shuffle bombs. Oh, it's unlike that I can use that one either. I think I do need to keep at least a Brawl. Of course, Brawl doesn't always help. They Conjurer's Call and I Brawl and they Conjurer's Call more. But we'll see. It's a Conjurer Mage. Ouch. Conjurer Mage can really hurt, because they just never run out of threats. And they might even run Weapon Room Wall. I mean, I have the Super Collider, which is my super secret source deck card to beat Giants. That might not be enough. Okay. Is there going to be a giant next turn? I think I'll just hero power now. Not use the shield block. I can shield slam a giant now. If he goes for just a raw giant. I mean, this deck can probably even afford that. Because they have tons of threats, so they can just drop that giant there. If the giant gets removed, okay, we'll try again next turn. So that might not be as much of a problem as it could be with something else. Yeah. I mean, I agree with this play. I think this is a good play. Because the only answer I have is to have shield block, shield slam. Well, Weapons Project Shield Slam, but he has no reason to assume that I'm even running Weapons Project at the moment. Many people have been cutting this, not from Megatoon, because in Megatoon you still want it for the Harrison Jones draw. But many people have cut it from other builds, because the low number of weapons in the meta. But that's a little bit changing, weapons are coming back. Hunters are beginning to put Eaglehorn Bow back into the deck, Rogues are beginning to put Pick back into the deck, so... It ebbs and flows. People take weapon removal out of the out of their decks, and weapons are suddenly more attractive again. Hmm, that's a fun card. And what's even more fun is that it's guaranteed to draw me a militia commander. I can use militia commander to hit that one down to one health. I mean, I guess you can conjure a skull some five drops for yourself 
It's not a terrible proposition. Hit face conjures call five drops. I'd probably do it. And then go for Astromancy next turn. Oh, that's a big five drop. Is it whoops worthy? I don't know. Whoops is quite a lot to say about that. I'm not supposed I need to kill it. Is he going to have weapon removal? Because I would have this nice super collide clear here. Then he also wouldn't want to play an Astromancer into that. I know he has another Conjurer's Calling. Does he have weapon removal? Do they still have it? Tough, because I would also have Ziliac's clear on that. And I would have this Weapons Project Harrison that I want to use at some point. Though that might be a reason not to equip the Super Collider yet. I think that's a good reason not to equip the Super Collider yet. Let's just Ziliac's down to 7-6. I mean, I know 7-6 was there to... That it prevented him from playing an Astromancer, but I just didn't feel like I can take the hits to my face here. Now we get to see if there's an Astromancer for a 9-drop. Or not. An essence of magic. It's a kind of magic. So... Have the option to super collide this one into the Malagos. I'm thinking a bunch of damage if I go the Weapons Project Harrison route. That would then enable equipping the super collider later on. Or a brawl play. I think we're going for this. Then I will have to spend a card, which means the coin, of course. Because my hand is full, so I need to throw away the coin. But I think this is fine. Nine cards in hand. Alright. It's not like he's going to have spells that deal damage. We'll see if we can get him to use another Conjurer's Calling. Because Maligos is only for attack. So maybe he wants to use a Conjurer's Calling now. That might open up opportunities for me to brawl or to do other things. And he also, we also got the spoos out of the way. And this is also a better brawl board now. So lots of nice things. Might have more Conjurer's Callings. Would it be a problem? I guess it would, but on the other hand, Isera is always a problem by itself. Warpath clear over two turns, not good enough. Super Collider doesn't do anything, it's a brawl. That's a brawl. Let's hope that the Ooze wins. What do you know? Who's won? Sometimes lucky. Sometimes very, very lucky. I like that. Runs main deck power of creation. That's a big surprise. I've already seen one ooze. He might run two oozes. Even though that's unlikely. But it's possible. One man out from being able to get a warpath clear on this board. So I think I just need to use the super collider. And there's no combination clear with the dino medic either. Now it's just time to super collide the aliens together. And chill. Let's see. The threats. There are so many threats in that deck. But could he really run double weapon removal in this meta? That would be very surprising. Ooh, Kalagos. Kalagos is scary. How scary? Contrast calling scary. Okay. So, if I hit this one into the Deathwing, Deathwing goes down to... 5 health. Then I could hero power, shield slam the acidic swampus and then play a dino medic. That would be a board clear. I think I have to take it. It uses a shield slam. But I think I have to take it. Let's go. Super collide, hero power, 
I could have also done that with war pads. Ah, this was. This is still actually pretty okay. A war pad can be useful later on too. I think this is fine. I could have also used. I could have also used five times war path after the super collide. Although in that case I would have two less health, so I guess this is completely acceptable. The problem is there's still a mountain giant left, and there's still a conjurer's calling left. And there's an astromancer left. And I see that there's an emerald drake left. But now I could do Warpath, Warpath, leaves 5 held on the board, then I can Dino Medic again. I think I will have an opportunity to brawl at the later date. So I'll just Warpath, and I'll Warpath, 5 held on the board, Dino Medic. Does not allow me to armor up more, but does deal with those threats again. Okay. Yeah, so Conjurer is calling in hand. He still has a giant in deck. He still has an Astromancer. And I see that there's an Alexstrasza too. But I'm fine with an Alexstrasza, right? No, I suppose I have to use an Omega Devastator. Well, technically I could hit into the Alexstrasza and use another Warpath. Save the Omega Devastators. So at least there's Giant and Conjurer Scorning. He lost Catcar to Overdraw, then I could kill both of the Giants with the Devastators. I actually think I might do that. Let's hit into the Alexstrasza. And do five times Warpath. This is not a deck that runs Sorcerer's Apprentice, Mana Cyclone kind of things. I don't expect him to go really wide. I think it's better for me to be able to kill two 10 health minions than it is to kill a board full of five health minions. Okay, got a pair of seven drops. Seven drops are not terrible. I mean, I have the alternative to hit here. So the Astromancer goes into the Lion Cracker, and then I could Omega Devastator. Then I could still Hero Power. Because if there's a whiteboard, I can always brawl Omega Devastator. But after that, I am, I am pretty much out of removal. Yeah, pretty much. All the Acolytes of Pain are in the bottom. I have no way to activate I got lots of pain to draw a bunch of cards anymore either. I used the Dino Medics and I used the Warpaths. That's probably the biggest minion I can afford to tank anyway. Well, let's tank that. Use Omega Devastator to kill the other. I am at 14. 8 cards in the deck. I'm not sure if I can I'm not sure if I can hold on long enough. This deck is packed with threats. I've seen both conjurers callings already, but there's one spell that was discovered from Caligos. Oh and there's also these freebies. So there might be well I still have weapons project shield block, I still have some armor coming. I can't remove the weapons project so that armor is temporary. I still have Dr. Boom. Now there's two spells that he has available. I think all the spells have now been, that are in the deck have now been cast. Both Book of Spectres, both Conjurer's Callings. A 4-9. Whoa. Do I have to use my Militia Commander to kill it? I think I have to. I'm just not getting rid of that otherwise. That I can armor up. I go to 15. Two spells, so if there's pyroblasts, fireballs. Oh no. Discover a mage minion. Oh no. Just look at that threat density. That's that's incredible. That threat density is just amazing. I really do not want to throw a brawl into this. 
Oh no. Bonk the boom. And that's 8 damage. I'm at 13. I'm dead to a fireball. He has two discovered spells. But if I throw my brawl into this, that means that I'm helpless when the next Astromancer comes. When the next Mountain Giant comes. I have to. I have to reduce this damage. This is too much damage. I need to play the Acolyte and armor up. I still have the Omega Devastator, so I can kill one big minion. But the problem is, like, Astromancer brings two big minions immediately. And then the problem is also that if I simply... If I use any of my combo pieces, then I really can't do much. Oh dear. I didn't even get a draw from the Acolyte. Well played, well played, but I was saving this Omega Devastator for this. So I at least had something going here. So Omega Devastator can kill that giant. He still has an Astromancer though. And I can equip the weapons project in order to kill that Ziliax. Weapons Project Armor is only temporary because he can just hit me with the gear blade. But it's something. Five cards in the deck. Boom, shield, block, echo, light, down, cry, inner rage. Oh no! A randomly generated Dark Mage Antonidas. I guess that wins the game. I guess that just won the game. That just won the game. I think I have to. So I can kill off the Dantonidas. I need to start pushing face damage. So he has 7 from... he has 6 plus 2, let's say. He has 9 from hand and I'm at 11. Unless he has a random generated damage spell. Oh, he had a random pyroblast too. Hunter can be tough. Let's see. Excellent top decking skills. Hear ye. I'm here to tell about top decking. Hear ye, hear ye. Yeah, I haven't really checked the statistics lately. And also the composition of the decks has changed a little bit after the nerfs. And that, that does affect the cards that are good to keep or not. Both Town Criers made to draw a card again. I'm so lucky. Hit Hunter's Hatchet. Okay. Mobius killing that one. So, looks like a pure mid range hunter, so we can expect some dire frenzy goodness. And oh my goodness, that can be painful. And this one, this was the one that I drew with the Town Crier. And because I have drawn two Rush Minions with the Town Crier, he knows I have Militia Commander. Because most decks run only three. So I can conceal the other Militia Commander. Conceal a tiny bit of information. Do I use it on here or do I use Ziliax on this? Ziliax could also heal me later in the game. But if I need the Ziliax heal, has everything already went south? Because Militia Commander can also be used to kill the Wyverns. I guess I'm using Ziliax. Let's use Ziliax to get that kill. Okay, one Scavenging Hyena that's not getting Dire Frenzied. But there's still the Wyverns and the Thunder Rhino. Which are also pretty good when die frenzied. 
Yeah, Town Crier is great. I love it because it draws cards, and it draws cards that are fairly early game cards too. Not a Headhunter's Hatchet. Well, I guess I'm giving him a weapons project here. I mean, I know, I upgraded his weapon, but that was 4 damage coming from that weapon anyway. So I basically took that damage away. Here comes these beasts. I don't have an answer to the next one. I still want to do Militia Commander on the first one. And then I want to do the Dino Medic on the second one. Because otherwise he just rushes the Dino Medic down with the second one. And then that leaves my Militia Commander in a poor spot. Oh bugger. Diaphrensied Huffers. So now he has a bunch of 7-5 Chargers. And that's usually a pretty good thing to have. He can rush this one down, and I... well, I kind of have an answer, I just have to take 5 damage. I mean, on 10 I have the Devastators, but those... that's 21 charge damage from the Huffers alone. So well, that's some pretty, pretty rough stuff. Oh, at least he can't play Zul'jin yet next turn. I get to play my Boom first, maybe. That one I don't particularly care about. I mean, I'm happy if he gets just 4-6 rushers. 8 cards in hand. 7 cards in hand. I could use these to kill that. If he plays Zul'jin next turn, then this will guarantee a target for Dire Frenzy. On the other hand, I'd rather have him Dire Frenzy this than Dire Frenzy and Unleash the Beast, because I don't care about his health total. So I'll just drop the Acolyte on this board. Yeah, Vibrants are pretty good. Ah, he had a deadly shot. Oh, that's awkward. But are you are you completely sure about scavenging hyena because I can just gear blade it down? I guess he doesn't like it. Still, 21 damage from the huffers. Throw in a timber wolf and that's 24 damage from the huffers, so. It's definitely a chance that I can take up some beating here. If he has the Zul'jin, then it casts the Deadly Shot again. I still want the Acolyte on the board. With the hero power. This makes Deadly Shot slightly less likely. He hasn't had any Master's Calls yet, so that might also... He might not want to play the Zul'jin because he hasn't had a Master's Call yet. That could affect things. I've seen both Headhunter's hatchets. Well, at least he's not saving these for an OTK. That's good news. How many guys do I have? Nine cards, eight cards, seven cards, yeah, this is beautiful. Two, three, eight, ten mana. Perfect. So it's Weapons Project. Then it's Harrison Jones. He spent both Headhunter's Hatchets, so this will be the end of Weapons. Then it's going to be a Hero Power. And then I can shield slam that Huffer. Hit him in the face a little bit, and I go to 29. With 7 cards in my deck. I obviously need to get rid of 2 brawls. So that's still some work I need to do. Why do you throw away a Timberwolf? Hmm, for an Unleash. Hmm. 
none of this looks like it's worth it, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. So if I were to have Harrison over here, then I would have two health. There would be five non-mech health on the board, so I could clean up with the Dino Medic. Just as an example. It's going to get a bunch of mechs, of course, but we'll see about that. Nine cards in hand, then I can roll a mech. Maybe I can find a healing mech or an armor mech. Well, I can't, but I can find another Dino Medic, which isn't terrible either. Ten cards in hand. Actually, now I did think this somehow incorrectly. Oops, that was my bad. That was truly my bad. I'm going to have to use a shield slam. I'm at 18. There's still two charge huffers left. They might, he might be able to kill me. I have these Omega Devastators here. They're kind of good in this kind of positions. Do I need to drop one Brawl first? Because I have only five cards left in my deck. That's only three more turns. Because I have a shield block I need to play. Okay, then. Now I have two Brawls that I need to get rid of. I need to drop a Brawl here. My first chance to get rid of a Brawl. But what if he just plays the Zul Chin and I don't have a Brawl? Oh no, Thunder Rhino... Thunder Rhino plus what? Huffer? Okay. That might turn out to be lethal if he finds another Huffer. Four cards left in the deck. I still need to get rid of one Brawl. No shield block. I also need to get rid of the Super Collider at some point. And hero power dino medic. Dino medic. But I'm only at 12. I need to roll the armor hero power. But I need to roll it pretty soon. Otherwise there's a chance that I will die. Okay, I might die to the dire frenzy here. And the unleash. We'll see. Or if he rolls huffers. That's one way for me to die. Seven, seven, Misha. Kill command hits where? One of those. Two cards left in the deck. So, I mean, Omega Devastator can kill the Misha. So I can do Warpath, Warpath, Hero Power, Omega Devastator. I'm running out of time a little bit here. Do I need two different Warpaths? Because I need to play Brawl and I need to play Super Collider. Otherwise I go into a fatigue turn potentially. No, I think I still need to do it like this. I think I still need to do it like this. But I think I'm being a little bit too slow. I needed the armor hero power. Twice. I have only got it once. I needed one more roll of the armor hero power. 
Because he has one more Huffer, right? I think he has one more Huffer. What kind of mechs does he have? I can't brawl this board. I can't get to my combo. I needed to play the warpaths, right? But it's not even enough. I need to roll a mech that heals me or gives me armor. That's a mech that gives me armor. That's exactly the type of mech I need. It hits over there. Gives me some armor. I use Warpath once. Get a bit more armor. I equip the Super Collider. But I still need to survive. I can't roll the armor hero power. I just cannot roll the armor hero power. I rolled that once during this game. I mean, if I had seven more armor, I would be in such a such a more easy position. If I can just get a chance to brawl. He needs to kill that off. I can't get more armor, though. So I'm at eight, I will take damage. I will go down to seven. Did he have a huffer in hand? Is it lethal next turn? I think he has a huffer and it's lethal. I can't remember though. Well, we roll the brawl. He could also have something that he can magnetize. So, seven damage and I die. Now I rolled the blast shield for the second time. Took me ages. If I had rolled this once earlier, I would have won this game. I would have been now at 15. That would have been comfortable. But now I died. All he needs is seven damage. So that draws the huffer. Or did he use all the huffers? Did I count it wrong? Did he use all the huffers? He, he lost the huffer to the tracking. He lost the huffer to the tracking from Zul'jin. He lost one Huffer to the tracking from Zul'jin. That's why it didn't add up. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.